Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to look through the project structure of the Flutter application we created previously. To see what we have inside, we're going to be using a code editor, not Darkpad. So please go ahead to open up either VS Code, Android Studio or IntelliJ IDEA. I'll be making use of Android Studio in this video. We created the Hello World project through the terminal using the flutter create command. You can carry out the same process through Android Studio by clicking on create new flutter project. Then we select flutter application and click next. Okay, so here in the project name field, we get to define the name of our application. Then we also um, should have the SDK path already filled out for us. But in the case where it wasn't, you can install the SDK if you haven't done so, or manually select the folder in which you installed the Flutter SDK at. The project location is where we would like to save this Flutter application. Um, you can browse through the folders in your computer to select which folder you would like to save it at. Or you can just leave it to be saved inside of Android Studio Projects, which is a folder that is created for you when you install Android Studio. The description field should contain a short description of what your application is about. But I would not be modifying anything here, so I'll just click Next. Package name is supposed to be unique for your application. This is because it um, serves as an identifier for your application inside of App Store or Play Store. I also would not click Finish because we already created a photo application previously. So I'll just click Cancel, then open an existing project from inside my desktop folder then hello world and click open that should take a bit okay i'll enlarge this now so we get to focus only on android studio i also close this up we see that there are some folders and files that were created for us inside of our flutter application um, the idea folder contains settings for our code editor this should not be modified. The Android and iOS folders contain platform-specific code that helps us to run our Flutter application on either an Android device or an iOS device. There are certain functionality inside of our application that may require us to write native code, um, Java or Kotlin for Android, which goes into the Android folder, or Swift and um, or Objective-C for iOS, which goes into the iOS folder. The lib folder is the home of our code. When we create um, folders or files that contain code, they should all go inside of the lib folder. We see that there's an already existing main.dart file. This serves as the entry point for our Flutter application. The test folder contains tests um, that we would like to write inside of the Flutter application. Git ignore file. Well, there's certain folders, private folders, or um, settings, in fact, inside of our Flutter application that we would not like to expose to GitHub. In a case like that, we get to add such files or folders inside of the gitignore file. So when we push to GitHub, those folders will not be pushed with our application. The metadata file contains properties of our Flutter project. The packages file contains auto-generated or pre-installed um, packages that comes with the Flutter SDK. Topspec lock contains all the versions of the packages that we have installed inside of our Flutter application. 
the popspec log file, packages file, metadata, and idea folder should not be modified manually. Although there are packages that are auto-generated inside of our photo application, we also have the liberty to install packages that were created by other developers. We do that through the popspec.lock file. There's also the readme file, which contains um, either a short description of your application or guidelines that you like to give others who get to look into your code about your photo application. Okay, there we have it, the project structure of our Flutter application. In the next video, we're going to see how to run this application on a virtual device.